A lot of people are worried about inflation and they're worried about what it's going to do to their dollars and how it's going to impact them. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you got to get closer to the money so that inflation isn't going to hurt you as much as it's going to hurt the classification of people that I'm about to drop. First of all, if this is your first time here, this is Glendon Cameron your corporate coach teaching you how to start companies and businesses so you can have a better life. Links below to the art of holding. All right, so what do I mean by getting closer to the money? Let's go ahead and look at what happened in 2020 and what recently happened. The American public got a $1,200 stimulus check, a $600 stimulus check, and a $1,400 stimulus check that is on the way. Business owners got way more money. Business owners got, I got $150,000 uh, EDIL loan. So this is what I mean by positioning yourself to get closer to the money. You've got to be a business owner, a big dog investor, or an asset owner to get closer to the money. If you just have a regular job, you're just out here doing your thing, you're working Monday through Friday, working real hard, you are last to eat on the food chain. The business owners, the big dog investors, and the asset holders are going to get, they're closer to the money. So the closer you are to the money, the more it benefits you. I got a lot of people who leave comments. Um, they're trying to be helpful, but they don't understand that because I have a business, I am closer to the money. Let's just say we had massive inflation in 2022. Everything went up. The people who own the assets, the, the assets are gonna go up. The people who are big dog investors they're, they're gonna make more money. And the business owners are gonna adjust and they're gonna still sell their products and services and make more money. But if you just have a job, you're just out here doing regular stuff, um, it's not gonna work out for you. I'll give you a good example. Like this conversation that I have, like over at Savage Finance, I got a video, the $8 million janitor, where I talk about this guy, Ronald Reed, who had an $8 million stock portfolio, but he didn't really spend any money because he was afraid to. And part of that is part and parcel to a fundamental philosophy that I have that you should enjoy money. You should first, you know, the three stages of money, check out that video. I, I, uh, there's two videos. There's a live stream and there's a video over at Savage Finance where I get into that. But essentially, if you're not positioning yourself to get close to money at some level, you're going to be left out of the wealth transfer. You're not going to be able to participate. And this is like why this cryptocurrency mania is going. Now here, here's something that's really funny. Once again, Elon Musk bought $1.5 billion for crypto, right? Let's examine, how did he get that money? Elon Musk has made way more money being a business owner than he will ever make from crypto. This is statistical fact. Elon Musk went from a multi-millionaire to a multi-billionaire with the founder of Tesla, uh, SpaceX, and something else that he's got going on. He has multi multitude of businesses. So Elon Musk, who bought Bitcoin, has made a hundred times more money from his businesses than he did from Bitcoin, than he will ever make from Bitcoin. Bitcoin can go to a million dollars a coin and he will still make more money from being a business owner than he will from crypto. And this is one of the theses that I keep trying to 
educate people on. Like, um, the, the crypto mania is beyond insane because I have people who have no money, who have no assets, who have no business telling me what I should do when I am very much very close to the money. I am at the point of creating value and creating money. I'm gonna say something that's gonna flip your wig. Let's say I didn't want to retire. Let's say I just ran my business until I was 90 years old. I still would be better off than the average person because I have a business. Even though I'm 90 years old and I'm still working, I would still be way, way better off. Way, way better off. And this is one of the things that you have to understand. Business owners make the most money out of the business owners, big dog investors, and asset owners. Business owners using Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg. I can just keep going, naming the list. All of these are business owners and they're making way, way, way more money than investors and asset holders. And in turn, by becoming a business owner, this gives you the money to become a big dog investor. And it gives you the money to become a big dog asset holder. Business creation, like, you know, this is my thesis. And I'm gonna put it out here for all of the people who are like going crazy over Bitcoin, because essentially the hope is you'll buy some Bitcoin and then it'll appreciate to a million dollars and you can sell it and then change your life. Um, Here's the, the stunning thing with cryptocurrency. Most of the cryptocurrencies already in the hands of people who are already rich. You have a classification of people who bought cryptocurrency real early and they have a lot of it and they this enabled them to get rich, but that's a small, small percentage. And now with the prices of cryptocurrency, guess what? Guess who can afford the cryptocurrency? The Elon Musk, the big dog investors, Cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin, is out of the reach of the average investor. You can buy a little piece of it, but you can't even buy a whole coin. But once again, let's look at who is buying this stuff, who has the money. It is the business owners, Elon Musk. It is the big dog investors, these hedge funds. And it's the asset holders, like Ben Mala. He's a big dog asset holder. So if you're not doing one of those three things, you're not positioning yourself to be close to the money. You can invest, you can do it. And also investing is a functionality of your income. If you have low income, you cannot be a big dog investor. This is why options trading is so popular and 70, um 70 no i think 80 percent of the people who do a options trading fail has a very high failure rate uh there's a few two channels up here talking about options traders where things went really badly for a lot of options traders in 2020 they blew up their account so you have the proven path and this is my thesis as evidenced by me I will do better starting a business than becoming an investor or an asset holder because becoming a big dog business owner will give me the cash to become a big dog investor or big dog asset holder. Like I said, my plan in four years is to buy a 10 million or $15 million apartment complex. That's my goal. And I'm gonna need 25% down, which means I gotta stack cash in the bank so I can put that down, so I can get the financing to get this piece of asset. Now, what's gonna get me there? Is it gonna be, be saving? You, you cannot save your way to wealth. You cannot invest your way to wealth with a little income. Like uh, I got this video, the $8 million janitor. He was an exceptional stock picker. Most people are not. So essentially, you got some options here. You can go ahead and try to become a big dog investor with a low income. Good luck with that. It's gonna be very difficult because as any financial professional knows, they're gonna court someone who's making $350,000 a year harder than they're gonna court someone making 30,000. 
Why? Because the person making 350,000 has the financial wherewithal to deploy at money, cash money, liquidity into markets and assets. Whereas the person making 30, 35,000 is barely living. So essentially you should not worry about inflation. You should worry about getting close to the money because regardless of what happens, regardless of how bad inflation may or may not get, if you're in one of those three orbits, the business owner, the big dog investor, or the asset holder, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine because if you're an asset holder, inflation is just gonna push the price of your assets up. You're gonna be fine. But if you're just out here working the nine to five, you're gonna eat last, you're, gonna, you're, you're, you're not gonna be impacted by the inflation. Well, you will be impacted by inflation. Let me say that again. Uh, the prices of things that you need, such as fuel, food, certain items, medicine, it's gonna go up. So you will be impacted. You will have less money to do the things that you need to do. But if you're in one of these three orbits of the business owner, the asset holder, or the big dog investor, you're gonna be just fine. So that's all I got for you guys. Go below if you wanna become a part of the art of holding. Links below. Prices going up, end of March. So with that, I will talk to you guys in the next one.